Welcome back to Fox and Robin. I'm Justin. This is our new space and there's not much to update you on other than we did build a door that goes in the rest of our basement area for storage, rest of the storage area that's back there in the HVAC unit and we built it. We actually didn't buy a door, we built a door and there'll be a video on that here soon. Um, but today's video um, is not about doors. It is about new equipment. We got some new gear. Um, and I'm going to show you what it is. Boom! We got us the Warm Audio WA-1B. This guy is an opto tube compressor. Um, and you might recognize it. It might look a little familiar. This thing is basically um, a CL-1B, which are super hard to get right now. Um, and they're super expensive. They're ridiculous. This is like a third the cost of what an, act of like an actual one is. Um, and there's great videos comparing the two. You can go check them out. I think Colt Caparoon does one. I think there's so many of them out there, but the one that Colt Caparoon does, he compares the two side by side and it's a phenomenal video. So go check that out. But today's video is kind of an overview of this guy. And you can see the front looks very same color. It might be an off color, just, you know, marketing wise. But, you know, it looks very much like a CL1B. You've got your on off, by on off, bypass, the vintage meters, your your like what the meter's doing you've got your you know your threshold zero your ratio your gain your attack release and then you can do a fixed attack and release and then it's got a side chain built into it that you can turn on and off um and then this little guy a lot of people don't realize this the original units didn't have this knob right here this knob is to calibrate this meter. Usually you'd have to go inside, pull the, the top off or the back off, or find a little set screw somewhere on it and turn that little set screw until your meter, because meters will drift over time. It takes quite a bit of time sometimes, it just depends. Um, but if it drifts, you can go and you can recalibrate it. So, but that's essentially, the knobs feel great. They, they have a nice resistance. They, oh, they're detented. I love that they're detented. It makes it so much easier for recalling if they're detented. It's like, it's a, they're not really detented, but they have a nice resistance to them where it feels like little notches they're hitting. Um, this guy is not, that's okay. Um, and then the back is fairly, you know, kind of explains itself here. You've got your power in, your side chain. Um, I wish it would tell you on the unit which one is in and out for your side chain, but I'm sure the manual does that. And then there's an input and output that are XLR on the back of it. Um, this guy's gonna go on our rack over here with our other WA76 compressor that we have. Um, that we absolutely love that compressor. That's our current vocal compressor. I think this might be our new vocal compressor for a while. So um, that's kind of the overview of this unit. Um, we'll do in the coming weeks maybe some videos on how we like it, um, how it's working for us. Depends on how busy we are and what we get to. Um, like I said, we have a couple other videos that we're gonna be working on, on some microphones that are coming in here shortly from Cascade. Um, there are some ribbon mics and we just got some other stuff kind of going on. So uh, look out for more content as we do these videos and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, the bell, all that, you'll get all our notifications if you hit the bell when we do new content um when we drop new stuff smash the like you know for our algorithm so we can get more people liked and if you enjoy these videos share them with your friends hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and we'll see you next time